Ladbrokes is rated A by SBR. Click on their logo to learn more. Hi, I'm Natalie Rydstrom and welcome to Euro Football Weekly, a show where we discuss the betting lines for the upcoming European football fixtures taking place this weekend. Today's guest is Mike Richardson, sports writer and regular contributor for SBR Forum. Mike, thanks for being here. Hi, Natalie. It's nice to be back. Now, playing this weekend for their Premier League fixture is Newcastle versus Swansea. Now, there's value on the three-way line, but it's hard to pick the winner. 2.75 for the home side with Bet Victor, 2.8 for the Swans with Labrooks, and 3.4 for the draw across most bookies. Now, me personally, I'm leaning towards the Magpies to win. They have a good home win record, uh, whilst the Swans aren't travelling well with only three wins and ten losses to date. What do you think, Mike? Who are you going for? And will you play the winner's market? Uh, yes, I'm going to play the winner's market, and I think this is one of those funny games where it's not so much about who's going to win, it's who's going to lose. Uh, that might seem a little bit nonsensical, but Swansea are in a bit of a tailspin at the minute, and Newcastle are on a dire run of form at present. Uh, they can't seem to buy a goal or buy a win anywhere, uh, and the fans are murmuring with discontent. So I think home ground uh, against a side like Swansea doesn't travel well. This is the sort of game that they really should win. So yeah, I'm back in the winner, and I'm back in Newcastle. Newcastle to win, OK. Now, the Magpies do have a leaky defence, though. You know, 26 goals conceded at home over 17 games, whilst the Swans have found the back of the net 16 times over 17 matches on the road. Now, with this in mind, would you say a bet on both teams to score could be risky? And priced at 1.75 with Labrooks, would you take that bet? Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't. I, I think Newcastle are going to win, as I said, but I don't think they're going to score more than once. Mm -hmm. So for them to come out on top with a single goal, they're going to have to keep a clean sheet at the back. Yeah. Uh, and Swansea, again, is the sort of side that they can keep a clean sheet against. They were quite unlucky with the goal that they conceded at Stoke last weekend. Um, so, yeah, I think Newcastle victory and a clean sheet for them. OK, yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm favouring the under two and a half goals in this one. What else do you like here? Well, definitely I'm going to be sticking some money under, on under two and a half goals like your good self. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think Newcastle are going to score very much. I think it's going to be the sort of game where they're going to come from behind. Um, so I'm going to go for the game being drawn on the 45, but Newcastle's on the 90 as well. All right, so plenty, plenty there to bet on. Uh, we've got a Newcastle win. Uh, we've got the under two and a half goals. We possibly, are you going to go for, put some money on the 1-0 scoreline as well? That's the exact score that I'm going to go for, Natalie. You read my mind. Yeah, and what are the odds for that one? Uh, we've got a nice big fat 9-1, to one, uh, and I think if Newcastle are going to win, which goodness me, I hope they do, uh, it's probably going to be a low-scoring game, the way the odds are for the under 2.5. So yeah, I think 9-1 to one on a 1-0 on a game, it's yeah. definitely worth it. Yeah, I'll back you all the way, Mike. Plenty to bet on here. Mike, thanks for joining us today. Cheers, Natalie. See you next time.